Hello and welcome to The Lab with me, Atomic Tom. Today we're on an engineering project. We're going to be building bridges. Bridges are such an important part of human history. For thousands of years, settlements have developed on the edges of rivers so that we can use that resource. We can use the water for cooking and cleaning and drinking, of course. And also, if you think of the fish and plants that would be around it for us to be able to eat and use in our everyday lives. So even though the modern world has completely changed to how people lived way back thousands of years ago, these settlements developed around rivers. Have a quick think about the town or village or city that you live in or near. Is there a river running through it? Whether it's London or Paris, these ancient cities thousands of years ago started to spring up around rivers. So it makes sense to be able to cross that river. There might have been small boats and ferries and crossings, but they would have been quite limited. It would have been difficult to get a lot of people or animals or resources and wood and all the things that you would need to build these places. It would be difficult getting them backwards and forwards on small boats. So as soon as it was possible to make these bridges, they were of huge importance to that area. A crossing that could bring two sides together. Even a 20 metre wide river would be really, really difficult to cross. Nowadays, there are thousands of bridges all over the world. So many different types, so many different interesting architectural designs and engineering feats. There are some that are five or 600 years old, like these from some of Europe's major cities. There are a couple of famous ones which are 100 or 120 years old, like the Brooklyn Bridge in New York or Tower Bridge in London, two of the most famous bridges in the world. And then there are these amazing modern feats of engineering that can go for miles and miles. Some of these bridges are more than 20 miles long. Bringing together communities, no longer just from across a river, but even across a sea. Now, you don't have to build the bridge that I'm going to build, but I absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite designs by a pretty famous, pretty clever scientist called Leonardo da Vinci. You might have heard of him. He painted the Mona Lisa, but he also had a lot of scientific and engineering ideas. His design for a helicopter is one of the most famous. But we also have this bridge. And I love it because it's just so elegant. Now, if you're not sure what elegant means, I've got my dictionary with me. Hmm. Elegant. Uh, uh, uh. What have we got? G, F, E. Right, here we are. Elegant, graceful and stylish in appearance or manner. Or pleasingly ingenious and simple. So something that's an amazingly clever thing, but maybe because of how simple it is or because of how stylish it is. I'm elegant. Oh, thank you. There's no one there. So as I said, you can build all kinds of different bridges, whatever you like, and you can challenge your friends to cross a certain gap or be able to support a certain weight. But the bridge I'm going to make is out of lolly sticks and it's Leonardo da Vinci's idea for a bridge. So here we go. So I'm going to use different coloured sticks just because I hope it will be easier to, for you to follow what's going on. You don't need different coloured sticks at all. Uh, but as I say, the different parts might be a little bit more obvious with different colours. So first I'm going to put a green stick just like this. And then I'm going to put two orange sticks so that the end of the stick is touching the end of the greens. Easy as that. And now I'm going to take another stick, in this case a yellow one, and put it halfway down the oranges. And it almost looks a bit like a ladder. Yellow on top, green underneath. Now what we do is we're going to pick up the green and slide an orange over the yellow, under the green, over the yellow, under the green. So one stick here, one stick here. Let's give that a try. 
Sometimes it's a bit wobbly doing this first one, but there we go, just about under there. And I might just need to slightly straighten them up. And already we actually have a bridge. It's a bit bouncy, but you can hopefully see that something could pass all the way underneath our bridge. But as we make it longer, it gets higher and taller and looks a bit better. So now we're going to get another yellow and this time we're going to slide it all the way underneath like this and up to the end. You might just need to hold on to these ones so that it can slide up. And then same as before, we're going to pick up the yellow and put one orange over the green under the yellow, over the green under the yellow. And now it hopefully looks a little taller. Now, as you can see, we've worked in. So what we need to do now so that the sticks don't hit each other is start again on the outside. So we will put a green here. And then this time our oranges are going to go on these spaces just here. So pick up the green and orange on there under the green orange on the end of the yellow under the green and you can hopefully kind of see it coming together i'm trying to be a bit quick um i'm trying to be a bit quick so it might wobble around a little bit but i'm sure if you're more careful you'll be able to do it better right that looks okay at the moment though so maybe we'll put another one in so let's go for another yellow same again underneath like this up to the end carefully pick it up and then oh, we're just going to try and move over i'm going to try and squidge that one in there and we're going to try and squidge this one in here and i'll just straighten that up slightly and there you can hopefully see our bridge now you can carry on going for as long as you like but well maybe i think if i carried on going too much further it would fall over but even though it's bouncy, it is actually quite solid. If you were trying to make a real bridge using this technique, you could maybe put things through here or even a mini one, you could sellotape them together. But even though it's bouncing, it is pretty strong. It's covering this gap. I can almost get my big fat hands underneath. Let's see if it takes any weight, shall we? Pop that on there easily. So it did bounce a little bit, but it's certainly not collapsing. Put that on there, maybe try something a bit heavier. Let's put my stapler on there. There we go. So it is still a bridge. It, it kind of, uh, it didn't fall down. It kind of got a little bit lower, but definitely still get underneath. So there we go. That's Da Vinci's idea for a bridge, that design, that technique that we're using. And all we do is use this clever kind of pattern so that the sticks are leaning on each other so the weight gets spread across the whole bridge and even though there's pressure in one place that kind of holds it together in another place it pushes the sticks against each other and keeps it up and keeps it working so it's really really good fun to make that one it's very kind of satisfying using that word elegant that we said earlier on and um, the way that it just fits together is quite a nice kind of symmetrical pattern oh i'm going to go for one more just for fun that's how I have fun. So we'll put that one, oh, let's stick to the pattern actually. We'll put the green one under there. Mm -mm -mm. And under here. And under here. Look at that, even taller now. Okay, carry on going. I suppose I will. And we've gone one, two, three in, one, two, three in. So now we're going back out to the outside. Ooh, wobbly wobbly. There we go. This is actually the biggest one of these I've made actually, I think. This is my new record. Oh, so it slipped slightly at this end. Let's try and put those down. That will make it just a bit taller again. I'm in very real danger of it falling over, but even if it does, that'll just be funny. Right, okay, so there you go. Have a go with that. <laughs> it's definitely falling. Uh, have a go with that. 
I would love to see some pictures of it. If you do manage, send some pictures in. Let me see your Da Vinci bridges and we'll do a nice big atomic science shout to finish off. Are we ready? Atomic! <laughs>